Good day, everyone. Um, today I am. I'll be sharing you again another video, and um, for my for my previous video, um, I was discussing about uh, while loop, right? And um, I made mention also that uh, in in C programming language, there are four types of loop statement. First one is for loop. Second one is while loop. The third one is do while loop, and uh, the fourth one is uh, nested uh, for loop. Okay. In this particular video, I will be discussing to you guys uh, what is the technicality, what is the behavior of uh, do while loop statement, and uh, I will try to uh, differentiate for loop, while loop, and uh, do while loop by way of um, giving um, examples okay and uh, I'd love to, to share my my online notepad um, the basic do I loop program okay so same with the for loop and while loop uh, do I loop has these three uh, parts okay of a sequence first one is initialization we have to initialize a particular variable that is being to be that, that will be used in, in in the loop okay the second one is a uh, condition while the condition is true the loop body will still be performed or else our program will exit okay and uh, the third one is updation it is actually a process of either incrementing or decrementing the value of uh, a particular variable that that is being initialized on the first uh, sequence or part of the sequence okay so I have a note here okay do while loop or do loop is used when actual code must be executed at least once for example in case of amino driven functions Okay, so in do while loop, um, a, a particular loop body is being performed first prior to checking the, the, the condition whether it is true or false. So if the condition is false, the loop must be performed first. Right? So that is the main difference between while and, and do. Okay, but anyway, to, to, to explain it, in detail I will be giving a sample program okay so here um, I, I have this uh, in main main it main function and these are actually the lines of my programs okay I tried to initialize my I by zero this is the first part of the sequence and then this is my loop body this loop body will be performed prior to checking the condition Okay, this this is the difference between while and and the do while. Okay, and uh, print or perform this one, then check the condition, and loop again, loop again until such time that this condition will become false. Okay, now eventually if we are going to execute this program, okay, this will display zero to to nine, right? So um, if you can remember. In our uh, previous video, uh, we have a sample um, while loop program. It is actually similar to this. Um, I, I I tried to to initialize also variable i by zero, and then I did use while right while i is less than ten. If you can remember, and then here, um, it's here. Ah, by the way, I think it's here. Yes, so this one, um, while I is less than 10 and perform the loop body, right? So, uh, I'm trying to differentiate do while and while loop the structure of it. So so same same uh, same loop body okay 
right? Please follow my, my, my screen. And then, um, addition or incrementation, right? Okay. Then followed by the curly bracket. This will mark the end of the loop body. Okay. And then return. So same same program, but then um, I am using uh, two different um, loop statement. The first one is do while loop. The second one is while loop. Here in while loop, technically, and uh, please do not be confused. When you handle while i is equal to ten, and you are using while loop, do not confused with the semicolon in here right because this is part of the syntax this one is one whole long i'm sorry this line here is actually a uh, part of a do while statement right that's why we have a semicolon in here this is the whole while loop statement and it doesn't have semicolon because we have the curly bracket here which is also the demarcation between between a particular statement right so uh this is it uh, based on my experience when i was in college um i am confused either to put semicolon in here or not okay so um if you are using do while make it sure that you're putting semicolon in here if you are using while Please do not put semicolon. Okay. Now another another thing. Under do while, okay, you have to at first you have to execute the loop body first, then check the condition. While in while loop, check the condition first prior to executing the loop body. But as to their behavior, they are actually the same. They're, they're both loop statement, right? And again, if we are going to to have another loop statement, uh, for loop, uh, all you have to do is to initialize i by integer variable, right? And then um, for, right, i is equal to 0, i is uh, less than 10, and then incrementation i plus plus right and then followed by a curly bracket the same the same code okay the same screen output oh, sorry not if but d because i is being declared as an integer variable no more i plus plus right but curly bracket I'm sorry here oh, sorry. sorry okay so in here I need to add why is that so? Ah, I, 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 I press enter. Okay, I'm sorry. For a while. Um. Okay. So in this here, I need to have this curly bracket. Right, so look at this. The same, the same screen output, the same program, but on the first one I did use do while. The second example I use while, and then the third one I use for loop statement. Three for three loop statements. Okay, so here in do I I need to initialize i by zero. Same with while loop. But in for loop, I only need to initialize, no, I don't need to initialize i, but I just declared i as an integer variable. That's the, the second. Under do while, you have to execute the loop body first, 
prior to checking the condition. While in while loop, I you need to check the condition first before executing the program. Here in 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 for loop, you have to check the condition first prior to executing the loop statement. Right now here in do while you have to put semicolon, but in while loop do not put semicolon. That's that's the the difference between between the three loop statement. Okay, so now here. Um, I would like to share my 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 online um, my my uh, online compiler, and we'll try executing the program. Okay, so um, this one I I did use do while statement, right? Uh, I I, init I initialize i by zero. This is actually the copy and paste of this program, right? So if I am going to to click run, right? button uh, this program will be executed and display the screen output the screen output is 0 1 2 3 4 up to 9 now we'll try to, to minimize the screen we'll try uh, deleting this box last n and allowing a uh, two vacant spaces for uh, the, the 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 output is horizontal right so we'll try clicking run um, this is now the, the the result, right? And this is for loop. Ah uh, no, uh, do do while loop. Okay. Now we will try um, uh, creating a program using uh, while while loop. Okay. So this is the program. Okay. This example is actually uh, a program using do while. So, like I said, uh, under do while, you have to uh, execute the loop body first, then check the condition, right? So, we'll try uh, converting this program into while loop, okay? While um, i is what? less than 10 okay erase this one right the same the same screen output we'll try clicking run right it still display 0 1 up to 9 okay now how about for loop uh, we'll convert this one into for loop uh declare i by 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 uh Declare i as an integer variable, okay, and then uh, for right for i is equal to zero, i is less than ten. Increase i plus plus, erase this one. Right, the same uh, loop body, but erase this i plus plus because uh, here and for loop we have this addition already. And then click run button. The same screen output 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, what I'm trying to discuss today is uh, I personally named this as programming flexibility. When you do programming and you are about to use loop statement, you can either use for loop, while loop, or do while, uh, do loop, right? Now, if there's a need for you to use do loop, especially if you're handling menu, menu programs, wherein there's a need for your program to perform the loop body first prior to checking the condition, then you have to use do while. But other than that, you can either any you, you can either use any of these three loop statements. Okay, so I hope I was able to differentiate the three loop statement for loop. Uh, while loop and do while loop on my next video i will be discussing nested for loop and uh, i hope i was able to share something useful today and uh, useful to your uh, programming um, journey uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, please click like and subscribe this youtube channel uh, share this video to your uh, relatives, to your friends, 
um, especially for those who are um, wanting to learn programming and uh, personally I, I would like to suggest if you want to learn programming if you want to be good in programming uh, the best thing to start is to learn C programming um, language okay thank you so much for now uh, God bless you God bless us God is good